we can overcome, we can have victory, we can believe in deliverance, we can believe in healing, we can believe that we can overcome in any situation as long as we know God's got this. We all have things that come against us. It's easy to live uptight, wondering how it's going to work out. What if the medical report isn't good? What if my finances don't get better? What if my child doesn't get accepted in that school? We tried to figure it out. We've done our best, but we don't see anything changing. If we're not careful, we'll live worried, discouraged, not expecting it to get better. But there's a simple phrase you have to keep down in your spirit. God's got this. He's on the throne. He sees what's happening. He already has the solution. You don't have to figure it out. There may not be a logical answer. In the natural, you don't see a way. That's okay. We serve a supernatural God. He has ways to do it we've never thought of. And instead of trying to force it to happen, living uptight, you have to let go and let God. Courage is not the absence of fear. It's going forward in the presence of fear. The main reason that the Bible gives us for not living in fear is God is with us. And I think that it would help us all to just stop and say, God is with me right now. David said, what time I am afraid, I will trust in you. He didn't say he never had fear, but he said, I've got something that will help me deal with the fear. I put my trust in you. And the only way you're gonna put your faith in God is if you know that you know that you know that you know that God loves you, that he loves you personally and has a good plan for your life. Keep your eyes on God because he's greater than any circumstance. Help us, Father, to be aware of what's going on inside of us. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. And you have destinies and plans and dreams and goals and visions for people. And I ask you to give them great courage to stand up against fear in Jesus' name, amen. Is there anything that I ever go through that God don't know about? The answer's a resounding no. Is there any situation I ever find myself in that God's not aware of? The answer's a resounding no. Is there any sickness that God can't heal me of? The answer's a resounding no. Is there any situation that my marriage or my family or my finances can find ourselves in that God can't fix? And the answer is a resounding no. Is anything too hard for God? No. As believers, as children of God, we know it's going to be okay as long as we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus Christ. Now, if you're looking to the world right now for help, you're depressed. And if you're fixed on all of that, then you're depressed this morning. If you're fixed on all of that, then your outlook is pretty gloomy. But I got a feeling we got a church full of folks on this Sunday morning and thousands of people probably watching online that understand my hope is in nothing less than Jesus Christ and His righteousness. I've come to declare today that God's got this. I've come to declare today that we've fixed our minds on Him. That we, we're, our eye is not on this world. Our eye is on Jesus Christ. What he begins, he backs. What God begins, he backs. The Bible says that before you were born in your mother's womb, God fashioned you. That's right. Before you got here, God spoke it. You stepped into this world, but God spoke you before you stepped into it. So at the moments you feel too weak to walk on, you got to remember this truth that the preacher gave you on this Sunday morning, on this Tuesday night, on this Wednesday afternoon. Whenever you're listening to it, God is speaking it, but he is going to speak it now for when you step into it later that you remember that he backs what he begins. He finishes what he starts. He does not procrastinate. He's right on time. He's not running behind. He didn't forget about you. He said, as soon as I hear you, I'll help you. As soon as you call, I'll answer you. In the day of trouble, I'll reach down and do it. Come quick, Lord. 
Come quick and help me. Come quick and do it. Come quick with the Red Sea miracle. Come quick, move a mountain. Come quick, make me strong. Come quick, break these chains. He said, I'll do it. Life will often disrupt what you expected. That just as soon as you have it down in a nice, neat little box of how you think it's going to go, and that when I walk down here, this is what is going to happen, by the time you get there, it will never be what you expected it to be. So you got to get used to being a little disappointed. You got to get used to being a little bit shocked. You got to get used to walking in the situations and being flexible and adjustable. Because if you are not flexible, you cannot survive. God did not promise you that by the time you got to where you was trying to go, it would be what you thought it would be. God did not promise you that by the time you got the house you were trying to get, it would be what you thought it would be. God did not promise you that by the time you found your significant other, that it would be what you thought it would be. God did not promise you that if you joined this church or that church, that it would be what you thought it would be. But I came to tell you this morning that our God is a God of the unexpected. Oh my God, I feel a shout. I'm going to say it again. Our God is a God of the unexpected. So just because life has shocked you doesn't mean it's shocked God. Nothing takes God by surprise. He already knows what's going on in every corner of your life. And he sent me here to tell you, don't worry about it. I got you covered. Don't worry about it. I got you covered. You may be shocked, but God's not shocked. Oh, that's a good shouting spot right there. Slap somebody and tell them God's got you covered. God's got you covered. When you don't get what you expect, God's got you covered. When it's a disappointment, God's got you covered. When you walk down and run into a mess, God's got you covered. Can you hear me in the balcony? God's got you covered. Can you hear me on that iPad? God's got you covered. When you turn it over to him and say, God, I know you've got this. I know you're in control. Not only will you feel the heaviness, the weight lift off of you, but God will make things happen that you couldn't make happen. And some of the things that are frustrating you now causing you to lose sleep that would all change if you would have this new perspective that God's got this sometimes we're trying to play God we're trying to make our boss promote us make ourselves get well and make the contract go through but as long as we're trying to force it living frustrated worried then God steps back but when you take your hands off and say God I know you've got this I'm not going to worry about my finances. I'm not going to live uptight because of the medical report. I'm not going to be frustrated because I haven't met the right person. God, I trust your timing and I trust your ways. My life is in your hands. God never promised that we wouldn't have difficulties, but he did promise he would give us strength for every battle. He would take what was meant for harm and use to our advantage. You may have a good reason to worry about something. In your health, your finances, a dream. You've done everything you can. Doesn't look like it's going to work out. Stay in faith. God is saying, I've got this.